Namaste everyone. My name is Puli Parihar and today's session is all about yoga with blocks. We will do some dynamic yoga postures with using the blocks. And at same time, most of the time we have block and we don't know how to use it. In today's session, I will let you know how we can use a block with dynamic yoga posture. So let's get started. First asana, first posture, the first posture will be simple triangle posture and I will let you know how we can use simple block with triangle pose. So simply wide your legs and grab your blocks, keep it to the side. Now I will tell you how we can use a block in different dimensions or with the different variations with single one posture which is called triangle pose or trikonasana. Feet together. Hand should be here by the side, wide your legs. Now from here, what do you need to do? You need to point your right toes outside. It should be pointing outside. Centralize your pelvis, your pelvis and your waist should be at center. Now from here, grab your block and keep and place your block just behind your feet. Now from here, what do you need to do? You need to open your arms, the shoulder level. Let's make the triangle pose exotic and dynamic. Hands should be here, turn your palms front facing, body should be centralized, centralize your pelvis and left feet toes pointing inside. Now from here, let's do it, exhale, go down, grab your block and come up, grab your block and come, hands should be here. Exhale, simply go down, place your block on the ground, inhale and come back. Exhale, go down, grab your block, come up, try to lengthen your spine, Open your heart completely, exhale, go down, place your block just behind your feet and come back. Exhale down, lean your body down to the triangle pose, align your shoulders while you're holding at the triangle pose or to the trikonasana. Inhale up, one time you need to grab the block and with the second time you need to release it. Exhale, go down, hold here, try to lengthen your spine, open your heart and try to draw your shoulders in line and come back to the free hand. Last and final time, exhale, slowly go down, draw your hands in line, turn your neck up. This is the last and final time, you need to hold for a five breaths. Try to lengthen your spine and try to feel the proper stretching to the side or towards your heart and back and come back. Please your hands by the side. Okay, let's do it with the other side now. Now from here, simply turn your toes inside and your left feet toes pointing outside. Let's do it with the second side or other side. Now from here, what do you need to do? You need to place your block just behind your feet, just like me. Now from here, simply open your legs, open your arms, right toes pointing inside and your palm should be front facing. Align your pelvis, align it and make it at the center. Now from here, exhale, go down to the triangle pose and try to maintain your pelvis centralized and feel the proper stretching towards your opposite right side. Exhale simply down, line your body, draw your shoulders in line, stay here for a while, inhale and come up. Now for the second time, you need to grab the block, come up with the block and then simply place it to the same place. Stay here to the triangle pose, feel the proper stretching just under your thighs, behind your knees or close to the calf, inhale come up with the block, Exhale, fix your block just behind your feet, align your body and try to distribute the equal weight on your both legs. Come up, exhale simply down, hold the posture, release your block. One time you need to grab the block, one time you need to release the block. Come here, try to feel the proper stretching by the side. Hold, come back with the free hands, exhale down. Sometimes you miss or if you forget the coordination to grabbing the block, that's fine. But try to do one time with a free hand and one time with grabbing the block up. Last and final time, exhale, lean your body down, grab your block, open your heart, hand should be here, finger should be on activation mode, five breath hold. If someone has neck issues, you can simply hold just like me. If you are fine with your neck, turn your neck up to the sky. Gently come back, release your hands and fix your legs, feet together. Take a break. 
the two the second asana or second posture next we are going to do the paschottanasana paschottanasana will help us to give the nice and sweet stretching to the entire legs back and give the nice and nourishing effect around the belly also and help us to lengthen the entire spine but the most important the amazing factor behind it that we are going to do the same posture did you bring the blocks so grab your blocks and let's do the simple paschottanasana and i will tell you the different variations of the paschottanasana also so for the beginners or for the simple one as well keep your place your blocks parallel with each other now from here feet together now simply wide your legs make a comfortable gap between your legs and your right toe should pointing outside between your block it should be completely out and your left toe should be pointing inside now from here what do you need to do you need to turn your pelvis to the side try to turn it properly align your body and try to make it to the side now from here place your hands by the side and bring your arms up just over your head and try to stretch and pull your arms of maximum up as much as you can now from here exhale try to lengthen your spine first feel your belly back and the proper stretching around your hips or around your leg exhale simply go down grab your block now from here try to lengthen your spine hold the posture inhale gently come up lengthen your spine completely you can do with a single hand even exhale this is a variation simply touch or grab the block hold the posture keep supporting inhale bring your arm up you can do any variation whatever suits you now from here with the second round grab your blocks inhale stretch your body completely up exhale fix your block by the side hold the posture try to lengthen your spine come with a free hand exhale go down grab and hold your block work on your spine try to lengthen your spine inhale come up try to align your body completely simply place the block by the side of your feet lengthen your spine come with a free hands inhale and up exhale simply down try to feel the proper stretching around your back belly spine or even around your shoulders one time with the free hand and one time with the blocks inhale up lengthen your spine hold the posture try to tilt your pelvis or your waist completely to the right side and simply down last and final time inhale bring your arms up to the sky let your body stretch let your spine stretch exhale go down complete your round inhale bring your arms up with grabbing the block hold the posture exhale release now from here change and come to the triangle pose simply keep grabbing your block turn your neck up to the sky stay here for five breaths try to feel your belly your side even your leg and grab and place your block here come to the namaskar relax your legs relax your body now from here fix your legs and make your legs together let's do it with the other side down now simply wide your legs fix your switch your side of your blocks comfortable gap between your legs and place your blocks by the side of your feet and fix your left leg feet between your both blocks now from here what do you need to do turn your right feet toes inside and try to align your both heels in over line it's really very important for alignment now from here what do you need to do adjust them properly inhale bring your arms shoulder level and your palm front facing turn your body to the side try to align your pelvis to the side or towards the left side bring your arms up with the inhalation palm front facing exhale try to stretch your spine first lengthen your spine exhale go down grab your blocks hold the posture first you need to work upon your lower back your ball belly or towards your front leg and then towards your back one inhale come up stretch your body exhale simply go down that time you need to grab your block inhale up stretch your block all the way up feel the pressure around your belly back and towards your shoulders stay here lend in your spine hold the posture for a few breaths or according to your capacity of your body inhale once with a free hand exhale go down hold the posture grab your blocks inhale and up exhale simply place your both blocks by the side of your feet 
Try to lengthen your spine and come with a free hand. Exhale, you need to lengthen your spine. This posture will help you to give the strengthening or toning to your entire belly, sides, even help you to make the spine and leg flexible. Drive your blocks and up. Exhale down. If sometime you miss, that's fine. Okay, inhale and up. Let's do the last and final time. Exhale, go down. Hold the posture. Try to press your chest inside. Hold the posture for five breaths or according to your capacity of your body. Now from here, simply come to the triangle pose. Try to lift your pelvis up. Draw your both pelvis in line and drop your, uh, simply bring your right arm before your body. Try to turn your neck up if you have a flexibility towards your neck. Five breaths. Feel the proper stretching around your leg, back or towards your belly. Hands here and gently come back. Release your hands, come to the center. Let's come to the one of my vinyasa flow with using a blog. So I'm going to share my this amazing vinyasa flow with you. So simply place your blocks front of your mat and that should be a proper distance between your legs or you can fix it at the edge of your mat just like that. Now from here you need to draw a little distance from your blocks and place your feet just a little far from your blocks. Now from here what do you need to do? You need to come to the simple Namaskara Mudra, the activation of your fingers. Now from here try to lift your arms up, keep your spine straight, try to tuck your belly button inside in engagement of your glute thighs and try to engage your entire legs. Now, simply lift your toes up from the floor and try to balance out your body with the proper calf and thigh engagement in simple Namaskara Mudra with a standing position. Now from here, toes down, inhale, bring your arms up and back, try to give the proper stretching to the front body and the contraction to your back body. Exhale. Simply go down, try to touch your arms or palms towards a block. Place it here. You can bend your knees if you're not feeling comfortable with the straight legs or you can simply place your arms or palms on the block and try to lock your knees if possible for you. Press your chest inside. Now from here, bend your knees one by one, your feet back, press your heels down, hold the posture according to your strength and capacity and keep grabbing your blocks completely. Now, inhale, lift your right leg up from the back. Hold for five breaths. Keep looking to your navel reason if possible for you and keep grabbing your blocks. Leg simply here. Lift your other leg up from the back. Try to open your entire hip joints. Try to open your pelvis. And fix your leg by the side of your other one. Now from here, exhale. Uh, inhale, come to the plank position. Your knee chest in down to the mat. Inhale, come to the cobra. Exhale, take the knee support and come to the simple downward facing dog with grabbing the block. Try to press your heels down if possible for you. Bend your knees, step by step forward and inhale, bring your arms up to the namaskar and simple standing position. We will do two more rounds. Let's do the second round of a vinyasa. Now, feet together. Join your palms with each other. Inhale, bring your arms up with the inhalation. Exhale, simply padastasana. Fix your both palms on your block and try to grab your blocks properly. Bend your knees, step by step back. Press your heels now, try to lengthen your spine as much as you can and keep grabbing your block properly. Lift your right leg up, try to open your hip joint or, to, or, or even your inner thighs. Simply leg down, lift your other leg up. If you wanna increase your strength, then you can hold each posture or each asana at least for five to 10 seconds according to your capacity. Now gently fix your feet by the side of your other one. Now inhale, come to the plank position, line your body. Exhale, your knee chest chin down to the mat. Inhale up to the cobra. Exhale, take the knee support, tuck your toes inside and simply come to the downward facing dog. Bend your knees, 
step by step forward. Feet together. Hold the posture according to your capacity. Inhale, bring your arms up. And Namaskar. Let's do the last and final round. Inhale, bring your arms up and back. Exhale, simply fix your hands on your blocks. Try to place your palms if possible for you. If you have double blocks, then you can fix your block just over the same block. Now, from here, bend your knees and go step by step back. Keep rubbing your blocks completely. Press your heels now. Now from here, lift your right leg up from the back. If it's getting difficult to maintain the pelvis in line, that's fine. The first movement, try to lift your, raise your leg maximum up. It's according to your flexibility of your body. Change your leg. Simply fix your right feet down and lift your left leg up from the back. Raise it well. Stretch. If you want to make this sequence a little more intense, then what you can do, you can do or you can hold the posture according to your strength and capacity. Gently leg down, press your heel down, inhale, come to the Kumbhakasan or a Falakasan. Engagement of your core, exhale your knee chest chin down to the mat. Flatten your feet from the back up to the Cobra. Take knee support, tuck your toes inside. Keep pressing your heels down. Keep looking your, keep bring your eyeballs to your navel reason. Nabhi Dristi. Do the Ujjayi breathing if possible for you. Try to create a sound through your thought, throat while you're breathing. Simply bend your knees. Step by step forward. Lengthen your spine. Inhale, bring your arms up. And come to the Namaskar. And gently release your hands. If you're feeling like your body is becoming uh, quite tired or if you're feeling exertion towards your muscles and body, you can take small break. But if you're feeling still energy, then you can do back to back. But I will suggest you if you're feeling too much exertion, then you can take break. That's completely fine. Let's move ahead to the other asana or towards the next asana. Next, we are going to do the simple warrior three. Warrior three is one of the posture which will help you to increase the focus at same time this is one of the posture which will increase the strength of your almost entire body especially your leg muscles so let's get started simply be here at the center side of your mat and let's make the same easy warrior three a little dynamic or quite exotic with using simple blocks so feet together hand should be here by the side now what you can you do first just try you need to adjust your blocks so place your both blocks, make them together just front of your body and it should be quite far from your feet. Come to the standing position, fix your hands here by the side. Now what you need to do, you need to lean your body down, try to take the support of the block and try to raise your right leg up from the back. First we will do with the right leg and then with the left leg. So exhale, keep your spine straight, keep raising your right leg up from the back, use the same hand, go down, Touch the block, keep taking support and try to balance out your body. Gently come back. Let's do with the other side now. Switch your leg, left leg, lift your left leg up from the back and try to balance out your body. Exhale down, lean down, balance your body, take the support of the block, stay here, hold and try to balance out your body. Hold the posture. And gently come back to the posture. Last and final time, one more, one, one more time with the same right leg and then with the left leg. Now, exhale, simply go down, lean, balance, try to take the support of the blocks, balance your body, hold the posture, and come back. Last and final time with the left leg, exhale, lean your body down with the balance, balance your body. Go down, grab your blocks, stretch your toes inside, hold the posture. Stay here for a few breaths and gently leg down and come back. Let's do the other variation. Now we are going to do the simple stretching with arms but with using the simple blocks. Okay, so from here we are going to do the simple reverse triangle pose. Reverse triangle pose is one of the posture which will give the nourishing massaging effect around your entire back at same time it will help you to increase the flexibility of your 
hip muscles. So let's start the simple a reverse triangle pose. Simply wide your blocks, I mean. Place it at the corner of your mat. Now from here, what you can do? Uh, fix it like that. Be here at the center side of your mat. Now, simply wide your legs first and try to place your left feet between of your block. Now, your left feet toes pointing outside and your right feet toes pointing inside. Now, from here, you need to balance out your both heels. Try to make your both heels in line. Now, from here, inhale, bring your arms up. You have two variations. You can fix your palm just front of your feet or you can fix your same palm just behind your feet with using the simple block. Now, measure the proper distance. If you want to keep it a little close to your feet, you can place. Now, from here, bring your arms simply shoulder level. Align your body. Exhale, twist your spine first. Lean and lengthen your spine. Grab your block. First, let's try with the first block. Lean and lift your opposite arm up or you can place your arm simply here by the side. Hold the posture according to your capacity of your body or you can hold it for a five breaths and gently come back. Let's try with the second block and let's try with the deeper twisting at the same reverse triangle pose. So twist your body, twist it a maximum. You can touch the opposite block then touch and then try to twist your body according to your capacity of your body. Gently come back, hand here. Let's try with the other side. Try to do the same posture or do the repetition of the posture at least five to 10 times according to your capacity. Switch your side, left toes pointing inside and your right toes pointing outside. Place your blocks maximum close to your feet or measure the distance. If you're feeling comfortable with the widened blocks, you can place it like that. But I suggest you to place the block quite close to your feet. Now from here, try to divide the equal weight on your both legs. Try to turn your pelvis little at center. Now from here, inhale, bring your arm shoulder level. Exhale, twist your spine first. Go down and try to grab the block. You can, if you wanna place your palm by the side, you can place it here or you can lift the same arm up to the sky. Come back, hands here, release it. Let's do the second variation. You can take the support with the other a deeper block. So let's try the second variation. Bring your hands here, exhale, twist your spine. Try to grab the block or place your hands by the side of your waist. Twist to the maximum, try to draw your shoulders in line if possible for you. Otherwise be there wherever you are. Come back, hands here, shoulder level, release your hands. Now, come back simply. Let your blocks relax or rest. <laughs> so, be here at the center, relax completely and feel which kind of sensations you're feeling around your body, especially towards your sides or towards your legs. Now, gently come back. Let's move ahead now. Next, we are going to do the simple warrior one. Warrior one is one of the posture which will really help you to strengthen your entire legs, your back, your entire belly, even help you to get the nice and entire deep stretching towards your shoulders, chest, even your entire spine. So, let's do the simple warrior one with using block. So, let's use a block with the simple warrior one. Fix your right leg or right feet just between the block and move your left leg completely back. The most important thing, you need to maintain the proper distance between your legs while you're doing this posture. And your left feet toes completely pointing inside, turn your waist or central part of your body towards your right feet or towards the right side of your body. Stay here, hold the posture. Luck should be here. Inhale, bring your arms back, but your knees should not crossing your toes while you're doing this warrior one or Virabhadrasana A. So simply hold the posture. Inhale, bring your arms up. Fingers should be on activation mode. Exhale, bend your front leg knee. Hold the posture a while. Exhale, lean your body down. Grab the block. Inhale, lift the block up. Hold here at the warrior one for five breaths. Try to lengthen your spine as much as you can and simply fix a block here. Release your hands, inhale up straight your leg. Exhale, bend your knee, grab your block, inhale, lift your arms and blocks up. Try to hold the posture, try to extend your back leg knee as much as you can. 
Simply fix your blocks by the side of your feet. Inhale, bring your arms up and try to lock your knee and give the nice and lengthening towards your spine or to the back and arms. Exhale, lean and bend your front leg knee. Grab your block, inhale up to the warrior one with grabbing the simple blocks and try to lengthen your spine here. Simply fix a block here, straight your leg, straight your knee and bring your arm over your head. Let's do it the last and final time. Exhale, simply bend your knee, grab your blocks, inhale up to the calm warrior one of Yidhvadrasana A or one. Hold the posture for a few breaths or according to your capacity. Fix your blocks by the side of your feet. Lock your knee, inhale and out, keep the stretching to your body. Simply fix your hands by the side. Let's do it with the other side down. Grab your block and shift your block to the other side. Now, your right toes should pointing outside and place your blocks by the side of your feet and place your uh, left feet between your both blocks. Turn your palms towards the left side. Turn your right feet toes pointing inside. Now from here, simply adjust your block properly and place it quite close to your feet because whenever you're doing the backward bending, you easily can grab your blocks while you're leaning your body down. So turn your pelvis first here. Inhale, bring your arms up over your head. Extend your back leg knee. Exhale, come to the simple Virbhadrasana position. If you want to adjust your back leg, you can stay here. Exhale down. Simply grab your block. First, try to lengthen your spine. Grab your blocks. Inhale, come to the Virbhadrasana A. Feel the proper stretching to your back leg and the proper muscle engagement towards your front leg. Simply fix your block here. Inhale, bring your arms and straight your leg. Hold the posture. Feel the proper massaging effect around your belly and the proper thigh engagement and the stretching towards your back leg. Exhale, bend your knee. Grab your block. Inhale up. Stretch your body and hold the posture. Simply down, straight your leg and bring your arms over your head. Try to get the nice stretching to your entire spine and back. Go down, grab the block, land in your spine. Knee should not cross in your toes, it's really very important. Grab, hold the posture at the Virabhadrasana 1 or warrior 1 posture. Simply release, inhale, bring your arms up and lock your knee. Let's do it the last and final time. Exhale, go down, grab your Simple blocks and lift your blocks up to the come warrior one of Yirbhadrasana. Simply down, release and simply come back to the center. You can do this posture according to your strength and capacity. If you're feeling like you can do this posture till five to six times, you can do it. Even you're feeling like you can do this posture for 10 to 15 times, try to do according to your strength and capacity. Now simply sit down, bend your knees. Let's do the some sitting postures with using the blocks. Let's do our next posture. Next we are going to do the simple Viparita Dandasan. We will move our body towards a simple Viparita Dandasan from sitting to the lying position. And we are going to use the block as we need to use it. So you need to adjust your both blocks under your back. And it will really give a nice and deep stretching to your entire lower back, including your back. And it helps you to open the entire chest area, which increase the blood circulation to the heart, lungs, and improve the function of your kidney, liver, and improve the digestion as well. So let's do the simple posture with using the blood. So for that, simply come to the sitting position, straight your both legs. First, simply come to the Dandasana and adjust your block just behind your back. Now from here, what do you need to do? You need to line your body on the block. Simply lie down and adjust your block and place your block a little far from your hips while you moving your body towards the lying position. So, adjust them properly. Be, fix the block towards the under back or towards the central of your back. Simply lie down and let your body stretch. Clean your neck down. Keep placing your hips on the ground. Fix your hands here by the side. Or you can turn the palms up. Keep stretching your toes inside. Hold for 10 breaths according to your capacity. Feel the proper stretching to your belly, chest, and the proper contraction towards your back.
generally come back let me tell you the second variation sometimes what happen we are not feeling that much comfortable to lean the complete head down for that you can use the other block to uh, give the support to your necks while you doing to the posture so first block to the same position simply lie down and fix this block under your head just like me just make your head comfortable fix your hand should be here and let your entire back your belly your chest and your pelvis stretch hold the posture according to your capacity fix your block completely fix your hands on your pelvis belly or you can fix it by the side with turning the palm up or down take support with your palms and gently come back so let's move towards the last and final posture with using the block so next we are going to do the simple asana and this is one of the posture which will help you to strengthen the power of your reproductive system and massage your entire transverse muscles that means the lower abdominal muscles and help you to give the toning towards the entire belly sides or activate your thighs and calves even with this single bridge posture or we can call it simple setu bandhasana with using block so let's do our last and final posture keep your block a place your block to the side and simply come to the lying down position now what do you need to do you need to make your feet together take your hands by the side now wide your legs and make hip width gap between your both a leg take your one block under your hips fix it properly align your body completely and rest your entire body on the block fix your hands on your pelvis or you can fix your hands by the side if you can interlock your fingers then try to interlock your fingers just over your block just like me hold the posture and try to lift your toes up if possible for you just for the proper engagement of your thighs and calf make your toes and ankle at the activation mode these final two posture at the end which we are doing in the simple lying position will help you to relax down the entire nervous system relax down the body decrease the tension level from the muscles and body after the intense session with using the block these two postures will help you to calm down the mind and body now release the block from your back simply take left turn as i told you that if you practice all these asanas with using the block then you will get a maximum stretching with using the block at same time block is a prop which makes your asanas quite easy while you doing the posture sometime it's getting quite hard to take the final position or the final posture of the asana so if you using the block your practice becomes more uh, easier for you to do or it's uh, uh, the blocks makes your sequence quite easy for you to do so hope this practice makes sense for you and don't forget to practice all these asanas with using the blocks so at same time on this note my name is poli parihar and you are learning with siddhi yoga don't forget to share your experience with me till then namaste